And now your first Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. All right, everyone, a very good Wednesday evening to you. We have got a lot to talk about weather wise here as we head into the second half of the week, kicking off with a storm system that's going to bring us some warmer temperatures at first on Veterans Day, but then a soaking into some much colder and rain and showery uh, snow showery weather that is as we head into the weekend. Here's a look over downtown Saginaw. In the meantime, clouds are on the increase this evening, but we are dry. Current temperature also still fairly mild on the cooler side, no doubt 46 degrees, feeling more like 42 thanks to an east northeast wind at seven miles per hour. But those winds are going to shift direction on us as we head into tomorrow and really start to crank up. We're talking about anywhere from 15 to 25 mile per hour winds and likely seeing them gust over those marks uh, through the uh, next couple of days. Checking in with the TV5 weather spotters tonight. We go to Michael Love in Midland. He's got 46 degrees at his location right now. And Brian Rodimer in Reese reporting 47 degrees under cloudy skies. Despite the clouds, it is still dry. First Warren 5 pinpoint Doppler radar here tonight live from MBS all across mid Michigan. We don't see any rain just yet. We may scare up an isolated shower during the overnight period as a warm front lifts through the area, but that rain will pale in comparison to the rain that's going to come in for the second half of our Veterans Day. So we have this elongated storm system here tonight on the sky tracker moving through the central United States. One area of low pressure helping to feed more of that moisture into the main area of low pressure that actually you can see is kind of off screen there just about to move into the Dakotas. It's that low to the north that's going to slowly track closer to the Great Lakes here as we head into the next two to three days. Initially pumping this rain into the region at first, but then allowing a big temperature drop as we head into Friday and the weekend to kick up a persistent lake effect rain and snow shower pattern that's going to last all the way through the upcoming weekend. So hour by hour forecast, we look at eight o'clock hour here tonight, still just seeing some high clouds piling in across the state. Heading toward midnight, we start to see some low clouds settling on in. We're still dry. You saw there a couple of hints of green between about three to five a.m. Just a few of those possible nuisance showers that may develop as the warm front lifts on through overwhelmingly though at least from a falling rain standpoint we're not going to we're going to see dry conditions that is for the morning commute tomorrow Brief window of some drier air around midday tomorrow may grant us just a tiny window of some sunshine. But then by about 3 p.m., we see the first uh, wave of the rain coming in anywhere from Houghton Lake to Clare along most of 127 for that matter and into our places like Owasso. It overspreads the rest of the area through dinner time and the evening commute tomorrow. Some of the heavier rains persisting even into the eastern thumb by about 9 p.m. before the steadier rains get on out of here. We see some brief clearing in parts of the area tomorrow night into Friday morning, but then with the cooler temperatures coming in on the windy conditions from Lake Michigan, we kick off rain and snow showers that will persist from Friday again through the weekend. As far as the winds are concerned, going from this evening, they'll be pretty tame into a stronger southeast wind already gusting between about 20 to 30 miles per hour by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, and then basically keeping that same speed with gusts at or exceeding 30 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening and even well into our upcoming Friday. Good news though with all of this, at least the rainfall amounts will be very manageable, generally around a quarter of an inch, but a lot of us likely picking up less than that. So while it'll be a good soaking for tomorrow, it's not going to be a prolonged heavy rain event. 41, the overnight low for tonight. Cloudy skies, few showers possible. Veterans Day starting off dry, then seeing afternoon rain and breezy conditions, but at least with a high of about 60 degrees. Then the drop continues as we head from Friday into the weekend as highs head deeper and deeper into the low 40s. David and Meg, rain and snow showers kicking up, particularly on Friday afternoon, will persist through Sunday and even a chance for a few leftovers into Monday.